On Friday the 5th of April 2019, 12 Year 13 IB Visual Arts students exhibited their creations in the annual St George's IB Visual Arts Vernissage. The exhibition is the culmination of their IB Visual Arts journey. What they presented tonight is worth 40% of their grade. There are some students who have been at St George's since junior school, other students who have arrived only in year 12, some have done GCSE art, some have got no previous exam level art experience, some have done MYP. So that gives you a really interesting mix of ideas and background and technical skill and cognitive skills. And that all feeds in because I teach them, and Mr Lancaster teaches them, but a lot of where their ideas and work comes from is from the sort of the group mind, them working together and from the group critiques. And I think if you have a mix of students from different backgrounds and different cultures, you get far more interesting work and their own work will evolve in a particular way from some intersubjective dialogue. They throw their ideas into the mix and then from that being kicked around by students who have very different backgrounds and different you know, cultures to their own, they'll develop more interesting work. Hello, my name is Artem Spilak and I'm from Russia, Moscow. Here I looked at the way cities, big cities and metropolitans uh, blur people because everyone needs to adapt to their environment and here I used myself. It was a trip uh, to Russia and I took a couple of photographs, city photographs there and then I created a Photoshop and basically it, um, it's oriented at exploring the ways uh, I myself adapt to city life. My name is Margarita Saltanova and I'm Ukrainian. I wanted to look at the way figures are portrayed and how they can be distorted. Therefore, I chose the theme of exaggerated and distorted bodies. But then I developed it into the mental state of the artist and the way he takes it and puts it onto the canvas. My name is Michelle Wortmann and I'm from Germany and I'm studying uh, DP Visual Arts here at St. George's. These last two years here have really, really inspired me and consolidated my decision to take um, art further into university. This is actually my most recent piece called Echoes of Entropy and um, it's really about the concept of growing out of pain because a lot of my exhibition is centered around the theme of pain and the different experiences and variations that pain can take and this is the idea of growing out of pain, so the positive aftermath. And I really took a lot of inspiration from um, my previous experience in Thailand when I used to live there, um, because I've got these, uh, when I did photography of different plants, so I have pomegranates and different tropical leaves from Thailand that I kind of used to symbolize that growth. And so this piece really ties together for me, like. My, um, my life in Rome and in you being a European person, but also my experience in Thailand. This is uh, a piece inspired by the concept of control and obsession, but also the impact of the media on our generation in particular. It's really interesting walking into it and seeing all these digital art drawings which are supposed to represent the visual journey that we go through as teenagers through media so we might put out the best version of ourselves and then as one gets even deeper into the whole digital world one might lose the concept of reality and that's when the pictures become pixelated and you really detach from your own identity. My main inspiration for my whole exhibition was subtle expressions of despair and introspection and I chose to focus on this because I wanted to show the more neutral facial expressions and subtler ones rather than painting big dynamic expressions of like shock and despair. Well, mostly my, my central theme, let's say, is uh, based around the impact of war on civilians. So I take IB history. So that was a great source of inspiration because we looked a lot at the social impact of war on these populations. I mean, you look a lot at uh, different artists and how they portray 
what they what their message is, and you start to learn how um, like what you would like to convey and what how you'd like to do that. And it's all about discovering who you are as an artist as well as actually learning about the context and other artists. So basically I started first with the, the concept of laughter but now it evolved more into a uh, fear and phobias thing. Like I love how the fact uh, using uh, focusing more on phobias was something uh, very hazardous, something no one ever thought. It might be something scary, but it has a lot of deep meaning. That's art is what actually kept me going, even in the, in the most hardest and toughest situations. It's a very good experience to release all your stress, angst, just put it all on canvas, make everything you have count. Uh, even the bad thing, it's more like a release of your own frustration. It's like a sport.